we have on Long Island, I guess, how people interact, like the relationships, the dynamics of or, or how people think um, based on the geography on Long Island. So we're going to start off by talking about look at me dropping my notes. Anyway, so we're going to start off by talking about North, the North Shore versus the South Shore. All right. So the North Shore, if you're not from Long Island, um, the North Shore and the South Shore is divided um, from Montauk all the way up to the end of North, Nassau County. And um, there's an imaginary line right between the north half and the south sh- the south half of the island. Um, I think that line is the LIE. Let me just check real quick. I believe it's the LIE, though. If you're not from uh, New York, and I'm not even just Long, um, Long Island. If you're not from New York, you probably don't know what the LIE is. The LIE is a highway, an expressway that... Well, it's an expressway. That's what it stands for, Long Island Expressway. That connects, um, I think, dead ass the whole entire island to the city, um, and maybe even further up. But definitely, it runs um, from Montauk right through the city. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, my bad. I looked up the wrong thing. I'm sitting up here searching LIE. I'm supposed to find out the border between the North and the South Shore. All right, it says, I don't know. I guess it really depends on who you ask. But if you ask me, the North Shore is divided between, the North Shore and the South Shore is divided between the LIE. So if you're from the, if you're from South of the LIE, you're from the Southern Shore. If you're from, you wouldn't say the Southern Shore. You would just say South Shore. I'm from the South Shore. And if you're from North of the LIE, you're from the North Shore. So um, I'm just going to play the clip that I was talking about Um. Just to give you an idea of uh, how people think based on where you're from. So uh, shout out to the 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 Happel Hour podcast. Uh, shout out to Long Island. Uh, I think it's a couple of dudes, one from the North Shore, one from the South Shore. So let me just play this little clip for you. It's about a minute. Bruh. All right, there we go. Excuse me. I'm sure trash fuck. Mm-hmm. I will say I'm from... Now, let me restart the clip. Here we go. Right. Well, I will, it depends who I'm talking to where I will say, like, where I'm from. If I talk to someone like you, like a South Shore trash fuck, mm-hmm. I will say I'm from Syosset because that tells you that I am above you. That I right, am right. above you in the social ladder. If I talk to someone who grew up in New York City, I'll say Long Island just because they won't, they're yeah, above yeah, yeah. Syosset. Right, right. You know right, what right. I mean? Well... Raffle Center is the class of the South Shore. So anyway, uh. you, you are the classless. You have such little class. To say you're the classiest of the South Shore yeah. is like you're the smartest window. Like we're the prettiest like girl dates. That's that's right. It's you're such a nothing that why yeah anything is better than that. Who's your competition? Freeport. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You go on the nautical mile, people are doing cocaine next to lobster rolls. <laughs> and well, children. And children. The children are doing co- the children gum cocaine on the nautical mile. <laughs> That's it. All right. So um, shout out to all Long Islanders. You already know it's all jokes and jabs. Um, I'm from the South Shore. So first of all, watch your mouth. Um, People from the North Shore basically, as he was saying, look down on the South Shore like we're dirty, like we're peons. As he was saying, if he's talking to somebody that he could tell right off rip is from the South Shore, he's going to say he's from Syosset. But I, 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 I will say this. If, if you're from the city, you're probably going to like the South Shore more because I feel like it's more, I, I, I guess, cultured. It's more cultured. There's more of a diversity of uh, people down here. Um... Shit, there, there, there's just more to do. Like, the North Shore, it's mad, like, quiet. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, because there's only a certain demographic of people that live out there. If you ask me, like, once again, <laughs> this is coming from the perspective of somebody from the South Shore. So, if you ask me what I think about the nor- the North Shore, it's got to be a bunch of old, retired white people with their, with their own private properties that aren't really doing too much. You feel me? So what is they really to do on, really to do on the North Shore? You could talk all this shit about how much money y'all got up there, but if y'all not doing nothing with the bread, then what the fuck are y'all talking about? All right? And you you could dead ass feel the difference between driving between um the North and the South Shore. Um even though the North and South Shore are divided between the LIE, the way you would get there is basically taking any uh any routes north or south. So typically, I guess 
on the southern state, I think you would take exit like 31. Yeah, I think you take exit 31. I, I think that takes you. I usually take that way over to Glen Cove, which I think is on the North Shore over in Nassau County. And it's funny because people think that the divide is between Nassau County and Suffolk County based on how much uh, how much it's popping, how much activity it get. I honestly think that that divide is between, excuse me, I think that divide actually is between the North and the South Shore. Like, yo, like in Copeg, Amityville, Hempstead, stuff like that, you're going to see a lot of the same shit. You're going to see delis everywhere. You're going to see... Uh, people walking around outside. You're gonna see um, recreational places for like ball and stuff like that. Same thing with Amityville, uh, Baldwin, stuff like that, which are, lies on the South Shore. Even though the places I named, Hempstead and Baldwin being in Nassau County, and Amityville and Copeg being in Suffolk County, those places are type similar. But if we go up north into the North Shore, I'm telling you, you ain't gonna see, see shit but streetlights, big ass homes. Um, maybe you might see some cars out there, but I'm telling you, it's dead. It's dead as fuck out there. I think we have the more lit beaches. Yo, it's funny because I was looking at a Reddit thread talking about the differences between North, the North and South Shore. And people said that the North Shore got the rocky beaches and the South Shore got the sandy beaches. I don't know about you, but I'm not fucking around in no damn rocks if I'm trying to go to the beach. You're going you're gonna to end up with scratched up or uh, cut up feet. You're going to hurt your knees or something hitting it on a rock. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, but I li- that's a dope-ass thing about living on Long Island. No- North and South Shore, Nassau, Suffolk, it don't even matter. You live by a beach that that's maybe 15, min- uh, 15 minutes or less away from you at all times. So, yeah, for example, uh, over by where I live, the closest beach to me is um, Tanner Park. But also, although we have a lot of beaches, there's other geographical diversity on the island. Like, uh, I like to go to Massapequa Park. Uh, once again, that that's more of like a forest area. Um, I'm just giving you a, a little rundown of the different biomes that we have. Once again, we have rocky beaches, sandy beaches. And um, with each beach you go to, it's, it's very different. Uh, you can experience the beaches off the shores. Like, uh, for example, the South Shore beaches and the North Shore beaches. Or... You can go out to Fire Island, Plum Island, uh, shit. There's so many fucking places you can go on Long Island to actually just vibe. I feel like Long Island's more of a vibe. Like, when you go to the city, I would say that's more for your shopping, more for your, uh, I guess, sightseeing buildings and shit like that. Like, when you want to see industrial, when you want to be shocked by how industrious New York is, you're going to want to go to the city for that. But if you want to see... The beaches and shit like that. I would say you want to spend some time in Queens, check out Far Rock, but then you want to start coming out to Long Island, check out Long Island to check out jo- Jones Beach. Uh, you could go once again out to those islands, Robert Moses, uh, Tanner Park, as I said, where I live. Um, and you'll you'll get a different beach with everywhere you go. One of the more popular beaches is in Long Beach. No Snoop Dogg, no pun intended. Uh, it, what am I? What am I saying? That basically a pun. I was making a stupid ass joke. Uh, anyway, when you go to Long Beach, they got their own little boardwalk. I would say that's kind of like the Coney Island of Long Island. Uh, for those of you that don't know what Long Island is, oh, excuse me, look, look at me sounding stupid. For those of you that don't know what Coney Island is, that's an island that's, I guess, part of Brooklyn where there's an amusement park. It's most famous for its amusement park. If you ever ate a Nathan's hot dog, the Brooklyn, Coney Island, that's where it got famous, all right? So if you ever want to come out to New York, do something fun, uh, chill out a day on the beach, definitely, definitely spend some time on Long Beach, uh, Coney Island. I would spend a lot of time in Nassau um, just so if you're traveling to Long Island, like, or traveling to New York to visit, I would say you would you would definitely want to spend a lot of time on the South Shore, going between like the end of Nassau, like like the like the Nassau Suffolk border, up until like Manhattan, because there's everything to do in Manha- Manhattan. Like I wouldn't really go to the Bronx, I wouldn't go to Staten Island, um, unless you're into like marine marine life and shit like that, being out on the water. I wouldn't go too far out to Montauk. But definitely, like, you want to check out all the beaches that you could. What else? Yo, matter of fact, I'm about to look up a toxic-ass thread. 
I'm about to look up Nassau versus Suffolk. Now look, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm low key team Nassau County, and that's because I, okay, look, I'm from Suffolk County. But I live dead ass on the border. And I'm not talking about I live 10 minutes away from the border. Da, da, da. Look, first of all, I coined the term the border, nigga, because I'm from here. All right. So when I say the border, I'm actually talking about like I'm dead ass like 30 seconds away. from Like I could walk over there right now. Like no cap. Um. So, yeah, let me see if I can get on Reddit and find something. Nassau versus Suffolk. Reddit. All right, so, oh, actually, oh, what the hell? Yo, niggas is talking about all kinds of crazy shit. I don't know which which one is the best one to click on for right now. You know what? That I like this person's first um, answer. The, the thread is basically, it just says Nassau or Suffolk County. And this person says, depends on how much, how much you commute. Depends on how much you commute in, uh, Excuse me. Depends on how much commute you can tolerate, affordability, etc. If you give some, if you give some must-haves, we can help you more. So basically, he's already starting off by like, yo, if you have to travel a lot, that's that's already gonna be like the biggest thing. Uh, it really depends where you're working and what you're looking for. If you work in the city, Nassau, facts. If you work in the city, you wanna you're gonna wanna be like from where I'm from. Like you want to live where I'm, where I'm from, or you want to be more further west? Cause I'm telling you, once you hit Nassau County, niggas just forget how to drive. So you definitely want to be in Nassau already, cause you don't want to drive all the way through Suffolk, get to Nassau just to have people piss you off on the road. So definitely, um, if you work in the city, Nassau. If you want more house for your money, Suffolk. <sighs> all right. See, once again. I think that's more of a North Shore thing. I don't think it. I don't think that matters whether or not you're in Nassau or Suffolk. Like if you're, if you if you want a bigger home, just go North Shore because that's where it's gonna be more expensive. I don't even know why it's like that, but yeah, that that's just the law of the land. If you're from Long Island, you already know that the North Shore is more rich. Like they got money. Um, both Nassau and Suffolk have nice places. Da, da, da. Yo, I, I can't believe I can't find this thread right now because I remember I was looking at this one thread that um they they were basically cussing each other out <laughs> on this forum. I'm, I'm trying to find it so I can give him my two cents. Yo, tell me where you're from. Tell me about uh some of the rivalries that people be having. I don't even want to call it a rivalry because we don't beef per se because of where we're from, but we definitely have our own stigmas and thoughts about each other. You feel me? And it's not it's never a hateful thing. I don't feel like I'm not going to walk up to somebody, ask them if they're from Nassau and start beating on them. Uh that's that's just retarded. No wonder why I couldn't find what I wanted to find. Because I basically typed in the wrong entire thing. What the hell? Apparently a lot of people hate Nassau. I never knew about that. I thought more people hated Suffolk. I'm just wondering why do da da da. Because for the majority of Reddit's demographic, cost of living is nearly as unaffordable as living in New York City. I, I think they meant to say Nassau. Because <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, uh, see, this is why I started this podcast as well. I, I came into a lot like I walked into a lot of uh stuff while I was looking at the search results. But a lot of it comes from the perspective of white Long Islanders. But we don't really have the same experiences. Like people were saying that Rockville Center is the uh. It's like the North Shore of the South Shore, but and but and then he said, "What the next best thing is what Freeport?" But if you ask a black person from the South Shore, Rockville Center and Freeport aren't the greatest. They 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 could be type ghetto, my nigga. Like, so this is why I'm making this podcast so I can deadass expose my culture, all uh, the things I experienced growing up, and just put it out there, you know. Now. <laughs> 
This 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 part is actually kind of funny. I'm gonna. This is a thread that I could definitely find. A lot of, a lot of um. First of all, black people don't get along. I don't get it. For the most part, black people do not get along. Now, when you want to talk about the relations between black people from Long Island and the city, I don't get it. But there's so much antipathy between people that even care about where they're from. Like, I'm from New York. No matter what, nigga, I was born in Long Island. Like, I I live type close to this city and that has nothing to do with it if i was born in new york i was born in new york now city niggas talk shit and say if you're not from the city you're not from new york but last time i checked <laughs> you know what i'm saying but for some people that's dead ass a serious thing like you're not gonna tell me that i'm not from new york look shut the fuck up all right relax so let's see shout out to the new york state of mind reddit because this is where the the thread was posted so, all right, so <laughs> this is something that's low-key true. It said, Long Island heads go to New York City, take aesthetic photos, and act like they from the city. Now, this is something I really don't fucking like because that's part of the reason why niggas think Long Island is whack is because we don't expose our own shit as if nothing's out here. Like, I've been to botanical gardens. I've been to great beaches. I've been to museums, the Long Island Sound, like... There's just so much shit to see that we need to expose that we don't do on our own. And people think that it's dead out here. And we all jack that we from Brooklyn, Queens. Uh, uh. Like, look, I rep the Bronx OD, but I'm not from there. But my dad's from there. I got family out there. Um, Growing up, uh, playing Xbox, a lot of my friends lived out there. So, like, yo, it's, it's just all about love. Like, if you from New York, whether you from the city, Long Island, um... Or certain places upstate. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to say all upstate because I feel like they're more partitioned from us. Like, we don't really interact all that much. But I would say, like, Westchester, Yonkers, uh, Rochester, um, maybe even Albany. It's all love, bro. If you from New York, it's all love. That tri-state area especially, it's all love. It's a lot of the same culture. We're a lot of the same people. So, I don't know why we, we beef just because we were born a half hour away from each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, I deadass live... Depending on traffic, maybe maybe 40, 40 minutes from Queens. That's not a lot. You know what I'm saying? And if if you take the train, let me see. Let's see. Jamaica train station. Da, da, da. Maps. Directions. Nah, I want the Copeg train station. Yo, it's saying that it would take 42 minutes for me to get to Jamaica right now. And that's not even on the border of Queens. Like, like it's close to the border of Queens, but it's not in the border of Queens. Bro, it'll take me 44 minutes by train, bro. And apparently 38 minutes now if I drive. So you can already tell it really depends on the traffic. A lot of people say that Long Island's deep because it's an hour away. I, 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 look, man, it's not. first of all, Long Island's not even an hour away from the city. It's technically... Less than a minute away. <laughs> Nassau deadass sits right up against Queens. So you can't jack that it's far away. Um, even But if you want to say Long Island starts a little further out. Like where I. That's not far away. I just told you guys. It's less than an hour away. I, I made a couple trips to the city. And back in one day. Like it's not a big deal. Like we were right there. Um, but. When it. Oh shit. I, I forgot to read you guys the thread. Cause I got so wrapped up in my own shit. All right. In fact, my stupid ass closed it. All right, there it is. All right. So, this nigga said niggas GDK from Long Island. Make it make sense. All right. So, for those of you that don't know, GDK just means y'all know. If you know, you know. Like if you're listening to this podcast, you probably know what GDK is. And they're saying that there's nobody GDK in Long Island. All right. Let's make it make sense as he asked us to do. First of all, I don't promote gang banging but i recognize what's going on where so you're going to tell me okay we're going to talk about the landmass long island okay so we have long island which includes brooklyn queens nassau and suffolk not that i've ever seen any gds not saying that i've ever seen any gds but if somebody told me that there's gds in long island i'd be like okay because the gds and stuff they really be in brooklyn and we all know queens and brooklyn are tight like close you know what i'm saying like there's a lot of love out there. Like, it's almost like its own super borough, Queens and Brooklyn. 
Um, so if you see some GDs and Queens, that would make sense. And with Long Island being pressed up right against those two, two boroughs, if you see some GDs obvious, <laughs> or some GDK, you know what I'm saying? Make it make sense. There it goes. They, they, we're not that far away. Um, not that once again, I'm not GDK. That, that bugging out. Anyway, um, I don't know if you heard her, but she needs to shut her mouth talking about some OI. Anyway, um, been out here for three years, and all of a sudden, these young boys really think they GDK. Aside from all the jokes and shit, they really gas. Yo, bro, I'm about to go to the floors. Nigga, sit your suburban ass down and stick your stick to your tax bracket. All right, now, these are the kinds of niggas I'm talking about. They be talking about you from the suburbs, you from the suburbs. Look, my nigga, I don't even know you. I don't know the, the person that posted that. I'm not even saying I'm the, I'm the person that's going to do this. But I promise you, if you come out here and you, and you start acting like shit is sweet, somebody will smack you right in your fucking mouth talking about Long, Long, Long Island is sweet, the suburbs are sweet. Do you not know that uh, the, the gang banging capital out in L.A. started in the suburbs? So fuck out of here. I don't know what the hell y'all niggas is talking about. But if you come over here trying all that sweet shit, somebody will check your shit. Fuck out of here. Um, it's GDs everywhere. They're the largest black gang in the U.S. If I remember correctly, I wouldn't be surprised if they're in Long Island. Chicago gangs were heavily on the expansion. Ba- exactly. 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 There's folks in Hempstead, apparently. And this was posted six months ago. Like, yo, Hempstead is... Shout out to Hempstead. But y'all know that y'all from the ghetto, my nigga. That shit... <laughs> that shit is crazy. Uh, I know some sick MS-13 niggas in Long Island that kidnapped some girls for ransom. Yo, I'm telling you, it gets real out here, my nigga. Once again, I'm looking at all this shit they're talking about. Huntington Station... Wine dance, they got bloods out there. Amityville, they got Crips, bloods, like they got... Yo, once again, come to Long Island trying to think that that shit is sweet. I promise you somebody will check your shit, my nigga. Like, and I'm not the toughest dude ever, but I promise, come over here trying to disrespect, and I'm going to have to show you some business. That's just the facts. Um, Now, the reason why I guess I get so passionate when it comes to talking about the relations between the city and Long Island is because... We all come from the same lineage, pretty much. Like, a lot of us, like me, I'm a first-generation Long Island kid. Like, at least from my dad's side, because my dad was born in the Bronx. And so, with 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 me being his seed, that would, that would be the first generation of a Long Island-born kid. Now, my mom's side of the family is deeper in the roots of Long Island. But I trace lineage back to the father, so that's why I said what I said. But once again, there's people that move from dead ass the hood. People that move from Brownsville to Long Island. People that move from the, as I said, my dad from the Bronx to Long Island. People that move from Jamaica to Long Island. So when you when you try to talk about how much different it is, it's really more the the structures and the buildings, less the people. It really depends on who you're hanging out with. Once again, um, if niggas try to say, "Oh, niggas ain't tough on Long Island," who you hanging out with on Long, on Long Island? For the most part, when people commute. Come to, they're either going for work or to see family. So, I mean, it's not like you're coming out here to find hood niggas. But if that's what you want to do, <laughs> it's your prerogative, my nigga. I ain't going to stop you. Um, yeah. And uh, I, I guess that's really, that's that's the most I can say about the relations on Long Island. To summarize that, the North, the North Shore looks down on the South Shore. The South Shore looks at North Shore like they stuck up. Yo, I'm just doing a really quick breakdown. Suffolk County and Nassau County, um, they're very different in terms of uh, density. Um, like, uh, let me say this. If we took a whole bunch of money and we divided it up from Manhattan to Montauk, which is the end of Long Island, most of the money gets dumped into the city and then you get less and less the, the closer you get to Montauk and the the... the the difference is most noticeable once you get past like CI, uh, Central Islip. So that that gives the idea of like Nassau and Suffolk. Um, the city they always gonna look at Long Island like we're the little brothers. Like that's that that's how I'll explain it. Like we're kind of like little siblings to um, this city. 
Um, but Long Islanders will deadass look at every other state, every other place like they ain't shit either. Like we we walk hand in hand um, in our arrogance, but when it gets down to it, the city is ready to shit on us. Um, yeah. So there, there goes that section. That was actually a, a fun ass. Uh